Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Father Eugene Ashka, a Catholic priest in Victoria. And today we'll be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje, which is a little village in Bosnia-Herzegovina, where Our Lady has been appearing since June the 24th, 1981. And we'll be discussing the message on the 2nd of December, 2018. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. So we'll start, I'll read Our Lady's message and then we'll do as we usually do, just get some wisdom from you. <laughs> <laughs> Our Lady said on December the 2nd, 2018, to everyone in the world, Dear children, when you come to me as to a mother with a pure and open heart, know that I am listening to you, encouraging you, consoling you, and above all, interceding for you with my son. I know that you desire to have a strong faith and to express it in the right way. What my son asks of you is to have a sincere, strong and deep faith. Then every way in which you express it is proper. Faith is a most wonderful mystery, which is kept in the heart. It is between the Heavenly Father and all of his children. It is recognised by the fruits and by the love which one has towards all of God's creatures. Apostles of my love, my children, have trust in my Son. Help all of my children to come to know his love. You are my hope. You who strive to sincerely love my Son. In the name of love, for your salvation, according to the will of the Heavenly Father and through my Son, I am here among you. Apostles of my love, along with prayer and sacrifice, may your hearts be illuminated with the love and the light of my Son. May that light and love illuminate all those whom you meet and bring them back to my Son. I am with you. In a special way, I am alongside your shepherds. With my motherly love, I illuminate and encourage them that with the hands blessed by my Son, they may bless the entire world. Thank you. So this is an absolutely beautiful message. We're so lucky to receive yeah. this from heaven. I'll start by reading the first sentence. Mm -hmm. Our Lady said, Dear children, when you come to me as to a mother with a pure and open heart, know that I am listening to you, encouraging you, consoling you, and above all, interceding for you with my son. So basically, we... Mary's really listening to us when we come to her with a pure and open heart, a pure and open heart. I think that's yeah, so beautiful. That, that's, that's the, the condition, fine. Yeah, that's this, the, this the little pure condition. And open yeah. heart. Not um, anger, not frustration, but a pure and open heart. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's sort of like a, not a self, um, self-seeking mm. one. Mm. Uh, a pure intention. You know, yeah. this, is, this is the right intention. Yeah. You know, um, I, I tell children at First yeah. Communion, you know, um, the Lord has waited a long time, right, mm. to come to you. He is so excited on this day mm. that, you know, tradition has it that you can ask something of Jesus and he will give it to you. Don't ask for the winning lotto ticket, though. Mm. All right. You know, we're talking about a pure intention. Yeah. And I'd say, you know, the Lord gives gives these things. I said, do you know what I asked for at my first communion? And, oh, no, no, no. I said, I wanted to be a priest Aww. like my uncle. 
Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, so the, the, wow. um, we, we, we ask these things, mm. um, but it's, it's with the right intention. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the pure. And the love, um, so it was pure and... Um, with, a, with a pure and open... Did and, you, and open when you come heart, to me that's as, right, yeah. yeah. So, um, and Our Lady is the ultimate example of this. Mm. Um, and as you read through there... You find that she's constantly um, sort of emptying herself yeah. for the sake of the sun. You know, everything you say, I come to you uh, because yeah. of because of because of him. It's not like you know, oh, I've chosen to come to you to talk to you, and then it's mm. I'm here because mm, of the my humility, son. Humility, yeah. That's right. It's this humility. So it's this openness, which means sometimes we can ask for something, mm. right? Uh, with a sincere heart, mm. and the answer is no, mm. and we have to be open to that. You have to be open to accept it. You have to be open yeah. to accept it. So it's, Lord, this is what I would like, but you know, maybe you know something better, mm. or maybe the answer is no, or not yet. Yeah. Right. But we have to be open to. Yeah. And trusting in what mm. in what God exactly, does. and respectful of whatever God decides. Yeah, yeah. For it. I mean, He's yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Our Lady went on to say, "I know that you desire to have a strong faith and to express it in the right way." I'll just stop there because it's beautiful. She's she's already saying that she knows that we want to have a strong faith and express it in the right way. It's yeah, like yeah. What our needs are. Well, yeah. that's all. Um, doesn't anybody really want to have a strong yeah. faith? They want to have a strong confidence yeah. Yeah. Um, in, in, in uh, whether it be in God or, or in family or in on those that, those that they love. Yeah. They want to be able to have that, that, that strong. It gives us a great sense, sense of security mm. and it gives us a greater ease in order to come to their aid. That's right, yeah. All right, well, we have to go to a break now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Eugene Ashka and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message to everyone in the world on the 2nd of December 2018. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you. And before the break, we were just reading uh, Our Lady's message and the line we just read before the break was, I know that you desire to have a strong faith and to express it in the right way. Then the next line is, what my son asks of you is to have a sincere, strong and deep faith. Then every way in which you express it is proper. So the only different words there are she wants us, he, her son wants us to have a sincere and yeah. deep as well as a strong faith. As well as a strong yeah. faith, yeah. Well, I mean, you can have, you can have, um, you can have a tree that's a strong tree mm. growing on sand. Mm, can't you? Yeah. Um, whereas you want, you know, uh, yeah, the deep will 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 anchor well down in in times of trial and everything and everything else of that. And a sincere one is one mm. that is genuinely seeking mm. um, the grace of God, His light, His His guidance, His will. Mm. Um, so it, it's one thing to have a, a strong faith, mm. but you want it to be. Um, like, oh, I, well, there was an example that had once uh, sort of like, uh, oh, oh, I had to say it, but it, was a, it was a bit like a joke. And this person said, I have a real strong faith in God that he will save me from this flood. And a boat came past. Mm. And they said, no, no, I know God's going to save me. And the water came up and it's up to his waist, mm. right? And, um, and another boat came past. No, 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 I have a strong confidence that, that God is going to that God is going to save me. And then it's just up to his neck and a helicopter comes. And he goes, no, 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 God is going to save me. And he drowns. And he said, well, 
what's going on then? God says, I sent you two boats and a helicopter, <laughs> right? It's one thing to have strong faith, yeah. but it's got to be, it's got to be well grounded and it's got to be listening to what, and that's sincere, yeah. is I sincerely wish to know what you want. It's not just I'm going to have a strong faith that God is going to do this for me or do that for me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's got to be sincere in that it's got to be seeking the right knowledge yeah. from God, seeking that light, etc. Mm. And deep means is that in time of torment and difficulties and things like that, it, it, I, I'm not going to be moved. Um, mm. I'm not uh, going to buckle and give up. Well, the, the, on the faith. The, that's true. You know, when the disciples said to Jesus, oh, so when Jesus, the, 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 when you're speaking about the bread of life, and people started to leave, and he turns to the disciples and said, Are you going to leave me too? And Peter says, To who can I turn? You have the words of everlasting life. Mm. He is basically saying, I don't understand. I don't understand how you're going to do this. Mm. But you have the words of everlasting life. Mm. That's deep. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? You are, you are the light. You know me better than things. That's sincere yeah. mm. and it's strong. It's a, I'm sticking with you. Yeah, I love that. So gorgeous. So beautiful. Um, then Our Lady said, Faith is a most wonderful mystery which is kept in the heart. It is between the Heavenly Father and all of His children. It is recognized by the fruits and by the love which one has towards all of God's creatures. So that's something so beautiful. To me, that speaks vegan. Sorry, but because <laughs> all of God's creatures, you know, we love the cows, we love the, you know, all the animals as well. And she says it's by the love we have for God's creatures. That's a really beautiful one. And then it's a, a wonderful mystery, which is kept in the heart. So it's, a, you know, it's something that's yeah. personal too, you know. That, that, and that's, that, that's probably the, 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 the key of this is that it's, mm. It's, it's in the heart. It is personal, mm. you know, it, and, and it's deeply personal to each person, yeah. this, this, this love. And um, this is why we have this um, de regard for different things. You know, you, some people love one type of animal more than another, et cetera, like that. Mm. Um, dog lovers will always tell you that a dog is a reflection of God, you know, from G-O-D and D-O-G. Oh, okay. Right? And it's a reflection because... <laughs> It's an unconditional bond. Yeah. Right? And that's why people are, I don't know what cat's supposed to be, but I'm a dog person, so I <laughs> thought I'd throw that in. Yeah. But it, it is. I mean, it, it's, it's, a deeply, it's a deeply personal thing. Yeah. And, and so these things are in the heart. And from the heart comes the different things. As Jesus said, it's not what goes in the mouth. Yeah. Right? Because that comes in and goes out the sewer. Yeah. It's what comes from the heart of the person. Yeah. And that's where it has to be deeply personal, as you say. Beautiful, yeah. And also it is between the Heavenly Father and all of his children. And it's recognised by the fruits. It's lovely, so we can see it in others as well. Then Our Lady said, Help all of my children to come to know his love. You are my hope. You who strive to sincerely love my son. In the name of love for your salvation, According to the will of the Heavenly Father and through my Son, I am here among you. So it's quite a, a mouthful there, so I'll, I'll just <laughs> break it up a little bit. Our Lady said, Apostles of my love, my children, have trust in my Son. Help all of my children to come to know his love. So, you know, that's something we can all do, help everyone to come to know yeah. Jesus' love. And how, how do we do that? Well... The first thing is, is that it's not disciples of love, it's apostles of love. Mm -hmm. And apostles is yeah. one who is sent. Yeah. Right? So we are sent as that outreach of love of God. Yeah. And the outreach of the love of Our Lady. So mm -hmm. we, are, we, we, are, they are, we are to be the encounter that these people have with the love of God, but we are to be intercessory in that love, being the reflection of Our Lady, who is sent by Our Lady to, to, to be there as instruments of love. How do we do that? Yeah. By the definition of love. Mm. Love is an act of the will. It's a decision for the well-being of the other, mm. even if it costs us. Mm. And that's what, that, that's what love is. You know, Christ laid down his life for love of us. Yeah. God sent his son into the world for love of us. Mary took on her mission for love of us. 
and for love of God, of course, because God first. Beautiful. Beautifully said. We have to go to a break now, Father. Wonderful. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Eugene Ashka and we're talking about Our Lady Queen of Peace's message to the world for everybody on the 2nd of December 2018. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you. And this is a wonderful message and we're so lucky. Everyone is so lucky to receive this. You know? Yes, yeah, yes. It's just for everybody. There's a lot in it too. Yeah. <laughs> very, very lucky. So Our Lady said... You are my hope, you who strive to sincerely love my son. We'll stop at that. So you are my hope, you who strive to sincerely love my son. Yeah, um, I, I think it's what stood out for me, yeah, the thing says, you are my hope. Mm. It's sort of like there are, there are so many who haven't come to her son. Mm. Um, there are so many that have rejected it. But you are my hope. Yeah. You are the ones who are going to bring about this turnaround. You are the ones who can be these, this um, outreach of love and, and mm. be this channel of grace in the mm. lives of those people who at the moment don't, haven't come to know and love um, her son. Yeah. And so I think it's, it's a very hopeful statement. It's a very uh, encouraging, a very motherly statement. Yeah. You know, yeah. you really you're really doing well. Mm. You know, good on you. That's it. Yeah. Keep up the effort. Good on you because I'm really confident that you are going to achieve you know what you're going yeah. to do. And I think it is so motherly. Yeah, and I was thinking even like when um Father remember Father Roger Ryan? Oh yes, yes, yes. Well I went to, remember going to his funeral and I was I was really upset. I was I missed you know, he's such a lovely priest and I was gonna go he was gonna come on channel thirty one. Oh, right. As well, we were organising it, but he he actually died beforehand. And we went to the and I was at the funeral, and I remember I met you at the funeral, and I was thinking it was like he had put you, he'd helped somehow to get you to come on Channel Thirty One yeah. to continue his work, kind of <laughs> that I was going to get him to do, because yeah. you were, he was so passionate about Medjugorje, and you're so passionate about Medjugorje, so it was just yeah. Anyway, Our Lady said went on to say. In the name of love, for your salvation, according to the will of the Heavenly Father and through my Son, I am here among you. Apostles of my love, along with prayer and sacrifice, may your hearts be illuminated with the love and the light of my Son. So she also she's saying that she, we, we talked about earlier, she's here because of, you know, the because of the the Heavenly Father, and through her yes. son. That's yes. why she's here. A, 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 a great deal of humility, mm. right, mm. and a perfect obedience. Yeah. And um, our salvation came from the obedience of the son doing the will of the father, mm. right? And Our Lady was mm. asked, you know, to be, to be, the, to be, his, to be the, the mother, mm. and in obedience she took it. She was, mm. she was no dummy. She, she mm. understood the scriptures probably far better than what yeah. we did. Yeah. So she knew what was in store mm. for her, you know, that sort of rejection that, that, that she would have, the mm. rejection that her son would have, and how united she would be to her son. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a, like I said, there's a lot, in, there's, there's, yeah. there's a lot involved in this, uh, a, lot, a lot tied in, into it. Um, I just, there was and one. then she says at the end, Apostles of my love, along with prayer and sacrifice, yeah. may your hearts be illuminated with the love and the light of my son. What a beautiful wish to wish someone. That's a beautiful Christmas wish too. <laughs> may your hearts be illuminated with the love and the light of my son. Well, that's right. Mm. And I, I like the image of you with, it, with, with the Christmas one because mm. you know, they say, the, the, sh the star shone down on a stable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The light of God shone 
in what we would think should be a dark and left alone place. Yeah. No one is beyond the light of Christ. Yeah. No matter how dark we may feel we are, yeah. how estranged we may feel we are, the light and the grace of God wants to shine in each and every person's heart. And I think that's a that's a really that's a really good image there when they stop and think of it about this light. Yeah. Um, that's beautiful. And also, you know, people who think they're they're nothing or they're nobody or they've lost hope because maybe their upbringing, their family didn't love them, and they 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 go through life, you know, on drugs or drinking and just beautiful souls. But they they've got to believe that they they are loved. You know, it's just. But they have and, Jesus and so in them. Loved. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. So intensely loved that 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 God wants to give them not just like um, uh, 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 the light of buoyancy, but mm. but the light of being able to see things clearly. Yeah. Having lived in a dark room, that this light will come in and they can see the things around yeah. them. They can distinguish what they are, and as they continue to grow in this faith and love of God, and allow the grace to come in, the light gets brighter and brighter. And eventually they marvel at all of the colours yeah. and the beauty of the things that are around them. And they could finally see it rather than just bumping into it and ending up so frustrated that they're, they're hurting themselves and bumping into all these things. Now they can see the beauty of it and they can negotiate it with yeah. a lot of freedom. That's beautiful, yeah, because there's, there's so many beautiful people that are really lost, you know, and their hearts are so pure too that they're, they're, still, they're still full of love even though they're suffering so much and they're so lost. You know, yeah, you can see right. that in some yeah. you know, homeless people, some homeless people like I've come across just, just in the shopping centres, the manners, the respect. I just think, oh, wow, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Our Lady said, I am with you in a special way. I am alongside your shepherds. Oh, sorry, I've read that wrong. May the light and love illuminate all those whom you meet and bring them back to my son. I am with you. In a special way, I am alongside your shepherds. With my motherly love, I illuminate and encourage them that with the hands blessed by my son, they may bless the entire world. Thank you. So we really need to respect and love and pray for our priests, you know, in such a deep way because they've got a responsibility to bring Jesus to everybody. And, um, yeah, it's a very privileged role. It is a very privileged role yeah. because we act in the person of Christ, because we have, we've been gifted with the ability to conduct his grace. A lady has taken us on as, as, as her sons too. Exactly. And we can call her our mother. Yeah. And um, I mean, we, we all came through baptism, mm. but in a, in a spectacular way. What, some of the things that she does for her, for her children... And some of the things that she does to try to teach them um, yep. is a bit scary. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the program, Father. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You've been watching Spirit of Life. I hope you enjoyed the program and we'll see you again soon. Yeah.